Since the dawn of mankind, there have been all kinds of ages that have resulted in great advances in science, technology, and really, really weird things to relieve yourself into. It was pretty bitchin'. The medieval ages were in there somewhere. I'm almost sure of it. King Arthur was president of Switzerland or something, and the knights of the round table were in charge of making awesome pizza. That soon changed, however, as it was found that Guinevere was smuggling Lancelot's sausage, and the empire was taken over in short order by Rome. Then the Renaissance happened. It was a very touchy-feely age with a lot of frou-frou bullcrap that made just about everybody feel uncomfortable. Even though the world advanced greatly in medicine and art, we quickly cast aside those values and told those pussies to put their books down in the pursuit of fruitful activities that we can all enjoy. Inevitably, however, came the age of reality TV where the stupidest, most talented hacks garnered way more attention than they deserved, resulting in a collapse of society in which the only progress made was the release of the occasional tragedy from the ovens of dominoes. Recognizing this impending dilemma, this man, Filbert Gastrointestinal sent out distress letters packed into a Pringles can to develop nations, imploring them to send something edible or entertaining. However, after initiating a fistfight with a five-year-old girl about the superiority of corned beef versus pastrami, he succumbed to his brutal beating and thus died before he could enjoy the spoils. Keeping with tradition of packing containers and selfishly eating food that rightfully belongs to others, we shall never forget you, Filbert, or the savagery of little girls. Thus we pay homage to another hero of the Pack Age. Greetings YouTube, Lofi here again to bring you another special presentation. Can you believe it happened again? Yes, lightning has struck twice. I have just received my second fan package. This fan package comes to me from Mike Yehudi of Indiana. Uh, his YouTube username is Mike Gnome D. He instructed me to let you know that he has no videos, um, but who knows, maybe soon he will. By the way, wouldn't Michael Buffer have an absolute party with this name? In the blue corner, hailing from parts unknown, weighing 150 pounds, including the liver spot, Mikhail Gorbachev. And in the red corner, hailing from Indiana, Mike Yoo and here we are. This is the very second official fan package. As you can see, it's quite a large box, and uh, I have my hopes set pretty high because I saw a couple of the other things that uh, this guy was sending me. He was sending me like little pictures, so I'm totally excited to get in there and eat these chips. Let's go ahead and crack her open. <laughs> Here we go. Big unveiling. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of chips in here. All right, item number one. Oh my goodness, they are full-size bags of chips. Look at this. Okay, first item is going to be Mike, Mike Sells. Groovy, good and hot, uh, spicy goodness with a hint of smoke. Yeah, so I guess the flavor is good and hot. <laughs> right on. Must be made by the same people who make good and plenty. All right, second bag. Here we go. More Mike cells. Here we go. And this one is Cincinnati style chili. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Another Mike cells. This is the sweet chili. Next flavor is going to be smoked bacon. Ooh, that sounds really freaking good. Next item, old-fashioned salt and pepper. And the last bag of chips that's in here is going to be uh, authentic. Wait, why did I say authentic? It's all-natural Tuscan spice, sun-dried tomato, rosemary, and olive. That sounds pretty freaking good. So, here we go. A bunch of really awesome chips in there. Thanks, Mike Yehudi. Is it is it you who's selling these chips? Yeah. 
Sorry about the rough transition, folks. As you can see, I've got my new lighting system set up. So without further ado, let's try some of these chips from the East Coast. Okay, first item out of the box is gonna be this one, which is, uh, ooh, Mike sells sweet chili chips. Oh, wow. Okay, so I've heard of cheddar and sour cream, and those are, you know, cheddar's kind of a bold flavor, sour cream's a little bit subtle. Put them both together, it makes something fantastic. These are, they are even better. I'm just gonna put my nuts on the line right now and say that these are better than cheddar and sour cream. Uh, first of all, they have a bit of spiciness to them. They're a little spicy. <laughs> Watch out. They'll sneak up on you. Um, but yeah. Totally good chili flavor. It reminds me a little bit of a, like a jalapeno kettle chip, except uh, it's not so jalapeno-y. It doesn't have the green pepper flavor as much. So yeah, these are really good. I wonder if I should have like a rating system for these. Probably, don't you think? Hmm. Um, okay, first amazing chip from the East Coast. This one gets, I'd say probably like an eight out of 10. Uh, I would totally buy these again. I'm actually struggling to think of a chip I like more. For just the wavy style of chips, these are great. These are absolutely jaw-dropping. I love them. This one, aptly following the last, is going to be Mike Sills. Good and hot. <laughs> Spicy goodness with a hint of smoke. <sighs> <coughs> There's a little bit, there's a little bit of a spicy smell to these. Look at how red that thing is. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, how much salt is in this thing? Too much salt, just way too much salt. Like halfway through that, it was like, boy, this, this is like a bullion packet or something. Salt, let me tell you, is my poison. I prefer salt over fucking anything. So for me to say it's salty, that's saying something else. Not a huge fan of this one. I'm probably gonna give it like a four out of 10. Like uh, the quality of the chip is amazing. Um, the seasonings are nice, except for it being like really freaking salty. On to the next chips. So next on the agenda is going to be the Cincinnati style chili. So me and Mr. Yehudi actually talked about Cincinnati style chili. Uh, it is apparently chili in which uh, you put down a plate of spaghetti and then you dump the chili on top of that and sprinkle on some cheese. It looks relatively delectable. Yeah, another another bag with, uh, seems like a lot of seasoning. Let's see here. It's a curious chip to be sure. I've never had Cincinnati style chili, just regular old chili. I'm not quite sure if, uh, if chili is how I would describe them. Onion powder, garlic powder, and apple cider vinegar. It's a, it's a strange profile of flavors. I would never identify them with chili. Uh, so uh, these, uh, while still being pretty good, uh, I can't really say that they represent their flavor too well. I'll give those like a six out of 10, I think. Next chips we're gonna be trying is going to be these smoky bacon flavored chips. There is a lot of variation in seasoning on these chips. Maybe that's what the, uh, the hot one was all about. Maybe they just had like different layerings because this one looks like there's a ton of seasoning on that chip. But let me pick out another one. Like that chip doesn't look so seasoned. Can you tell the difference? Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, I think you can tell the difference. Smoky bacon does come through. These are great. These taste fantastic. I could eat a shit ton of these. If I had a six pack of beer, I could probably, you know, demolish this bag. Uh, but yeah, definitely giving this one like an 8 out of 10 too. Uh, fantastic flavoring for a potato chip. We need to have this. We need to have this one and the uh, sweet chili one over here on the west coast like immediately, like fucking now, like yesterday. Moving on to one of my favorite flavor profiles, <clears throat> salt and pepper. So these are Mike Sells Old Fashioned Salt and Pepper Chips. Uh, you can see that they are the thin ones and not the wavy chips. Mm. So, this is a flavor I generally more like on crackers, like Triscuits and stuff. Because um, pepper never really enters in the lexicon when, when uh, 
potato chips are involved for me. Uh, I may have had salt and pepper potato chips in the past, but uh, it escapes me. You do taste the salt. The pepper comes in at the end. But there is really just like an X factor in the middle. Like the potatoes they were using weren't quite ripe or something. Because there's, there's a ton of flavor in the middle that isn't salt or pepper. As far as these chips go, they, they are a little bit heavy on salt, but really good on flavor. And uh, the delivery system of the chip is really good. Like these are all bags of just whole chips, you know. Maybe that had something to do with the care that was taken and how they were shipped to me. Um, but quality products all the way through. Uh, just maybe some flavors that are not what I'm used to. That's what I'm going to say. These are not flavors I'm used to, and maybe if I grew up on the East Coast, I would be used to them. And moving on to the last bag of chips. Here we have uh, Mike Sills, uh Reduced Fat. Mmm. What are you trying to do to me? Uh, all natural Tuscan spice. So it looks like we have sun-dried tomato, rosemary, and olive oil as our flavor profiles in this bag. And uh, they do look pretty enticing. Like a great smell from the bag as soon as you open it up. Oh gosh. It smells like herbs. It smells like herbs. I love, her I love me some herbs. Anyway. Here we go, nice big chips, like I was saying, look at the size of that fucking thing. So here we go, here's our sun-dried rosemary and olive. Uh, oil. Ah! Mmm! Oh my god! Oh my god! These are amazing. Okay, these are fucking amazing. Okay, um... I can't remember what they're called, but it's like a bruschetta or something, or maybe... There's a, there's a dish you can order in restaurants where it's just like a slice of mozzarella cheese and then tomato on top of that. And then it's like olive oil and basil or something. And um, it, it tastes super fresh, it tastes really good because you got the cheese and tomato and the flavoring in there. Um, that's exactly what these taste like. It's, it's that um, slice of mozzarella with a little bit of tomato, or maybe like a bruschetta, you know, that little, little piece of toast or whatever with, uh, some tomato or something on top. It, it, it's super amazing. So I can't really say I've ever had anything quite like these. Um, it, it's a very developed flavor, if you will. Like, maybe kids might not like this one, but, uh, if you're an adult and you like fancy eating, I would say try these. Not only are they amazing flavored, but they're reduced fat too. Boom! Mind blown. I can't believe it. I love these. These might be my new favorite chip. So if you see these and you haven't already bought them, do yourself a favor and buy them right now. Like, even if you gotta put a mortgage up against your house or something, even if you have to sell one of your kidneys on the black market, you do yourself a favor and get this like right now because uh, this will change your life. It, it, it tastes amazing. This bag is mine. Like, I don't care what happens to any of these other ones. I'm gonna eat them all, of course, but this bag is going first. <laughs> so, for these legendary chips, I'm gonna have to give these like a nine out of 10. Um, really struggling to find a chip that does its job better. You guys remember the Lay's Do Us a Flavor where they had the cheesy garlic bread? Um, I thought that that flavor was very well represented, but not nearly as well as this one. Uh, this is just amazing. So, 9 out of 10, two thumbs up, seal of approval, um, five star, number one, world heavyweight champion. So, viewers, here I am a couple of days later in my pajamas to ask you a riddle. How many times does a dumbass forget to film an outro for his fan packages? The answer, at least twice. So, thank you very much, Mikey Hootie. I appreciate all the chips. Um, I seriously have like 10 pounds of them just sitting in my room now. <laughs> I want to try to eat them all before they get stale, but uh, if I do, I'm probably going to be like 400 pounds by the next time you see me. So, I will eat as much as I can and hopefully have some other people try them out as well. 
Thanks again for joining me. See you next time.